It's the FA Cup third round and the big tie of the weekend and questionably the North uh, Northwest derby that everyone's talking about, Fleetwood Town versus Blackpool. Well, OK, Manchester City v Manchester United might have a bit more interest, which is why I'm joined by Will Daniels, uh, senior football trader who will be trading the game on Sunday. So, Will, uh, United two defeats in a row for the first time in 10 months. Um, City obviously winning 6-1 at Old Trafford earlier in the season. Is this a foregone conclusion? Well, Andy, I'm not sure uh, Alex Ferguson will see it like that. Um, United have had a couple of poor performances in a row. Maybe they weren't as bad as the press have made out against Newcastle. Newcastle played extremely well. Um, it's certainly not a foregone conclusion, I don't think. Uh, the Torre brothers are missing for Man City. Mm -hmm. Leaves them a bit short in midfield. In fact, Mancini's complaining about the size of his squad this week. So I don't think it's a foregone conclusion at all. OK, so but we've still got City over United 0.25, 0.45 on the supremacy. Uh, I think City 11 to 10, uh, United are, what are they, 12 to 5? Uh, no, that's a draw, sorry, United 9 to 4. So what, where are punters putting their money and what, what's, what they see the value? Well, we started out at a 0.3.5 supremacy. Um, mm -hmm. That was before the news on the Torre brothers um, having to uh, miss the game because they've got to go to Africa. Um, and uh, a couple of our punters had got, had got on the uh, United side before that move. So mm -hmm. uh, we've seen a couple of moves that way. But the most interest for the punters has been the bookings. People have been buying at 61. They expect a spicy game. Um, not surprising, really. The local derby, it's a massive game for both clubs. So people are thinking seven or more bookings, and certainly a red card is, is likely. Right. In addition to that, we're also top price on a few of, uh, a, a few of the first goal scorers in the industry. Uh, Samir Nasri, David Silva, uh, Dimond Harburbtov, Michael Carrick, to name four of them. Yeah. Um, so we're expecting a bit of business on yeah, the player market. that's worth a look at. And so with United's form, obviously the um, conceding three goals needs to the last two games as well. Is it just a case of having two dodgy keepers and it sort of stems from there? What, what do you see the problems being? Well, I'm not sure Lindegaard was to blame really for any of the goals the other day. Um, the first two, they were just good finishes and you've sometimes got, sometimes got to give credit to mm. the attacking team. Um, De Gea obviously didn't have a good game the game before and was dropped, rightly so. But I, I certainly don't think that's the reason for their downfall. They've had a, a huge injury crisis, struggled in defence, struggled in midfield, um, and Rooney's misdemeanours also meant that he missed a game. So there's been problems all over, but they're slowly working themselves out. So do you think there'll be signings in the transfer window? Do we team need to strengthen in any way, do you think? Uh, City looks strong everywhere on the field, really. Um, a midfield spot may be up for grabs for them, but rea realistically, they've got a strong enough squad. United, they've been linked with Schneider for the past six months to a year, and mm -hmm. he's a potential. They maybe need another midfielder, a holding midfielder, or a creative midfielder. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see United add one or two. Okay. And elsewhere, we sort of joked about Fleetwood and Blackpool, but um, that potentially ups upset there. And any punters have been getting any other sort of matches that they think there could be some value? Well, you're right with Fleetwood. Uh, it does look a nice price, Fleetwood. Um, they've got one of the best players outside of the top two divisions in Jamie Vardy. Uh, he's one to look out for for the future and he'll cause Blackpool a lot of problems. Um, the punters have been liking uh, uh, Milton Keynes Dons at home to QPR. Yep, going uh, well not a surprise Google. because Warnock seems to rest a lot of players in the FA Cup so that's not a surprise. And elsewhere I think uh, Swindon at home to um, at home to Wigan also also looks a nice price. Paolo Di Canio has really got things going at Swindon. Yeah, excellent, okay. Well see that all the full list of prices are on uh, www.spedex.com for all the football spread betting and fixed odds prices and of course all our other spread betting prices too.